Hey guys, today we're going to be learning Ed Sheeran's surprise hit that he just released yesterday, Afterglow. So let's get right into it, and if you want, you can subscribe to my Patreon. We're giving away a $1,000 guitar at 100 patrons. Make sure to follow along with the chords and lyrics in the description below, and make sure to subscribe for more awesome videos. Alright, so we're going to play this one with a cape on the 4th fret. Ed's actually playing it on the 6th, but for some reason he tuned down his guitar a full step, probably just because he was already in that tuning and didn't feel like retuning it back to standard, but I'm going to play this on the 4th. We've only got one strumming pattern for this entire song, so it should be quick to learn. Here we're going to start with the G chord, and I'm going to be using the G chord with that pinky on the first string there. Our strumming pattern is going to sound like this. So, all that is, is down, 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 down. That's all there is to it. One thing to note is he is accenting on beats one, two and, and four. So you just want to play those ones a little bit louder to give that rhythmic feel. You don't have to kill it, just play it a little bit louder to give it a more rhythmic feel than just a straight chord. That's much less interesting than So practice that rhythm and then we'll move in and add in the chords. From there we're going to play the same strumming pattern and change the chords G, C sus2, D sus4, E minor 7, and then back to C sus2. And the one cool thing about these chords is you can keep these two fingers on for all of the chords and just switch your top two fingers. So watch that, that's important, you don't need to move these and that's going to make it much easier to change between the chords. So then let's add in that strumming pattern with all the chords and this is what we're going to get. That right there is the entire verse. You can play that for all of the verses and all the pre-choruses. The only time that things change up a little bit is the chords are gonna change a bit in the chorus. All right, so if you can play that part, then that's the verse. Then moving into the chorus, we're gonna use the exact same strumming pattern, just change up the chords a bit. So the chorus is gonna sound like this. So you can see the chorus got the same vibe, we're just changing up the chords a little bit. We've got C sus2 for two run-throughs of the strumming pattern, and then we're going to go to G for one run-through of the strumming pattern, and then end on D for one run-through of the strumming pattern. So that's... So in the chorus you're going to play that five times and then you're going to end by playing C sus2 twice and then G twice. So the last run through the strumming pattern before the next verse comes in is this. And then you move back into verse two. So again, follow along with the chords and lyrics in the description. That's going to help you make the sense of the song the most. So then the only other thing you want to note to play this song is then the second verse onwards, he's just playing a little bit louder. So in the first verse, he's going to be playing softly like this. 